Welcome to... What's the show called again? Mom has a really bad cold. Mm. I'm so sick. Do you feel sorry for me? No. <laughs> Two points for honesty, Max. When? How did you get sick? Was it from the... It just, you, it's just been developing. From kissing a snake! Mm, I see. Just, it's just been developing. <laughs> Hi, Emma Linnell. Hi, Emma! How are you, girl? I hope you're better than me. Look at me. I am rough for the eating. Because we're about to eat. Okay, so the point of the show is that mom and son... Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. Mom and son try different foods. And so today we're trying a... What is this? This is a Quebec classic, isn't it? I, I guess. Yeah, so Joe Louis is a snack cake, kind of like Little Debbie's, but the French-Canadian version. And usually they're filled with that, you know, white cream stuff. Yeah, it's like you, a, it's just like icing sugar. Do you like the white cream sh stuff? I mean, it goes well with the, the chocolate, but I think peanut butter and chocolate are a better combo, so. Yeah, make sure you talk a little louder. Because I know, people sorry, need to be sorry, able I don't to know. Hear I, can, I can hear myself, so. Yeah, your name is still on my wall, Emma. You're right here. The tiny Emma. Yeah, the white cream stuff is just like icing. And like, I no don't, normally don't eat these snack cakes because, you know, they're not the best for your health. Max, we need to focus more on Max's health because Max is in cooking school. You eat a lot of the stuff you make at cooking school, I don't do, you? Yes. Um, so, but I like us to try things together and we, we don't need to, hello, Edward. Oh, he says, hello, Dav Davison family. Hi, Edward. I don't know who you are, Edward. I, you're the, this is the first I hear of you, Edward. But okay, so they're basically snack cakes that are coated in that oily stuff that's kind of chocolate, but not really chocolate. Like, what I'd do you say, think of this? I'd say this is chocolate. It's just a very thin layer. Thin enough that they can charge dirt cheap for these. Yeah, because the whole package of how many of them? Are there six or? 250 grams. So six bars for like $2? That's ridiculous. This is two bucks. That was only two bucks. Yeah. So we'll see if we get our two bucks worth. I mean, how many bites is this? This is about, for you, Max, how many bites? I could I could do this in one if I was- really... Do not do it in one. I do not want you choking. Mm. I, you are more valuable than, than uh, infinite numbers of Joe Louie boxes. Eh, I'd say I'm worth at least uh, 50 Joe Louie boxes. <laughs> at least 100 bucks. Yeah. Hey, question for the audience. How many Joe Louie boxes are you worth? Or how many Joe Louie boxes would you do something illicit for? It's like, what would you do for a Klondike bar? Exactly. But... but the answer to that is don't ever, don't have a price. Don't ever do anything illicit for money. You'll regret it. I know. It's not worth it. Money isn't worth it, okay? It's not worth it. <laughs> kind of is. It kind of is. Yes, that's a very male perspective. Um, mm. Okay, so we're. Sn I already smell the peanut butter. Yeah, this thing. This thing reeks of peanuts. Not that's a bad thing. I, I like. I like peanuts. It reeks of peanuts. Okay. Oh man. Yeah. So you guys get a get a good look at this. Oh, so Andreas cuts down trees for money. Well, good thing trees grow grow back. Uh, um. What? Do you, so what? What do you think, Max? What are your thoughts before we take a bite? I mean, I don't know. It smell, it's very strong smelling, but I don't know. I'm still, still kind of looking forward to eating this. It's like a fluffy, it's like a fluffy brownie. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's basically just a regular Joe Louis, but they put like, peanut flavoring in the icing, in the cake, in the chocolate itself. It's just all peanut butter. I, peanut. yeah, go ahead. Mm. Yeah. I, I don't hate this. It's good. It is good. Mmm. Don't you wish you could be eating this? Hey, does anybody in the audience have peanut allergies? I do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> So this is a, this is our uh, life ending broadcast. Yeah, so last episode. Sorry, guys. Last episode with Max. I need a new son. I guess it'll only take me seventeen years to make another one this size. Mmm. No peanut allergy for Emma. This is really good, guys. Most of the stuff we've tried on Mom and Son tried sucks. I have to say, for two dollars for six of these. How many calories? They're only 200 calories each, so they're actually not that high in calories. They're less than a chocolate bar. Mm. 
they make me feel like happy. We've got iron and calcium. They are high in saturated fat though, and they've got 0.1 grams of trans fat, so they're not good for you. And it's got 20 grams of sugar, who's kidding who, but I recommend, so out of 10, Max. Eight out of 10, let's say. It's not like a, a perfect, uh, it only has two grams of protein for, for mole man. It's protein apparently is important. I mean, it is important, but eh. What do I know? Yes, eight out of ten. It's good, but I wouldn't. I, I don't know. I really wouldn't. I really wouldn't go out of my way to get this though. It's good though. Yeah, I just thought. Oh my god, I've never seen a peanut filled, uh, peanut butter filled like snack cake before. It seems like something cool for us to try, and it's two bucks. Can't I'm can't kinda, argue. I'm kind of glad that there's now a trend of like putting peanut butter in things because before there was like it was like a war on peanut butter. Yeah. Yeah, you know, or just peanuts in general, like all these nut free zones and. This household is clearly not a nut-free zone. No. Did you get the joke? Yeah, I, it's it's funny because we have peanut butter in the cupboard. No, no. I know. I'm not oblivious to the context. <laughs> I know what you mean by that. I'm just trying like to. Like nuts. Yes. Like we're crazy. Okay, that's not that's not what I was thinking. Oh, you're thinking. Yeah, oh yeah. God, Max. No. <laughs> Come on. What are you? What do you what do you think? I, what do you think I tried to subvert it? To? <laughs> Back in my day, we didn't talk about nutting. I'm sorry. That's a it's a new thing, believe it or not. So I think people when nuts. I say someone I mean like nuts. Like somebody's you kick them in the nuts. That I didn't mean it like <laughs> How you know many what nuts I mean. Like nut, like to nut. There are at least two in this house right now. <laughs> God. No, oh, there goes there goes our. Um, there goes ten subscribers. No, there goes their monetization on this video. Oh, de denotized. Mm. We've been denotized. They always demonetize moments on tries. I'm like, what do they think this is about? Oh, two dollars for the not take. Mo man, thank you for being our Joe Louis fund. Thank you, Mo man. And I also told Max I would give him 50% of the money we make. So you just earned a dollar. I didn't get any of the money we've made in the past. Well, we haven't really made much money. No. <laughs> to be yeah. perfectly honest. We've barely made any money together, my friend. By the way, we are going to go live every Wednesday doing Mom and Son Try. That's our pact. We realized we needed to make a commitment because over the years... We've been pretty random with Mom and Son Try. We, yeah. did, we did like two years of this so far. Excuse it's okay. me. Okay, Mo Man, it's you don't you don't have to give us anything. No, that's, but, but thank you for for the two dollars anyway. That's very generous that's kind of, of you. you. Yes, thank you. That's kind of you. Maybe I'm feeling nice, Max, and maybe I'll give you the whole two dollars. Oh, you're such a <laughs> such a generous god, aren't you? <laughs> so benevolent. Huh? <laughs> Here, I'll get my, I'll get my, oh wait, we're using my phone. I'm like, I'll get my phone, phone out, I'll Venmo you $2 mm -hmm. right now. Make good on my word, Venmo, Max. Um, Jenna and Channing, Channing, uh, so Andrea's only gives watch time. That's okay, that works too. Increases our popularity by 0.001% provided the algorithm or the AI bot likes us. It doesn't seem to like me. Maybe it'll like doesn't, you, doesn't Max. It doesn't seem to like anyone. No, it likes some people. It likes, uh... Logan Paul likes Jake Paul. It likes stupid channels that review stupid shit. Hey, we're a stupid channel that reviews stupid shit, so we're halfway there. Just got to get the robot to like us. Yes, but uh, we're not we're not advertiser friendly, so bot uh, can't. We are advertiser friendly. This is advertiser friendly content. We are eating did, did snack you just, cakes. Are you, did you forget the the thirty second long conversation about nuts? Yeah, but that's, that's not that's not not advertiser friendly. It was it you was innuendo. You wouldn't see this shit on Nickelodeon. Fuck Nickelodeon. Yeah, there you go. Now that that you just you just we're no longer kid friendly anymore. Just we're not kid friendly. Yeah, my fucking kids here. Okay. Yeah, you just proved my point. Okay, I think people are. Obsessed you are swearing with them. in front of your kid. You are no longer kid friendly. Are you, is, you're not my kid. It's time we told everyone that you're not my kid. What I, what you're I, my I, brother. No. Yes, you're my brother. You're not it's my not kid. True. Yes, it is. All I have to do is go. I'm gonna make the... him believe it. I don't believe it. Hey, this is, hey, my, this is my brother. Uh, my mom curses all the time. Hello, Laquan. 
Uh, it doesn't have any taste. Oh yeah, uh, uh, what doesn't have any taste? Well, do we even want to know? Um, sorry, Jenna and Channing Tatum split. I guess we can talk about that for a little bit. What do you think about that? Do you even know who those people are? I don't give a shit about that. Um, We're doing good, Laquan. I mean, <laughs> she's, she's sick, but um, I'm fine. Uh, yeah, so wait, really quickly about Jan uh, Channing Tatum. He was in um, that male stripper movie. Magic Mike. He was in Magic Mike. Channing Tatum? I believe so. He was also in like 21 Jump Street and 22 Yeah, Jump he Street. dances, essentially. So. But whatever. I mean, they split. Just because... Okay, here's my lesson to you, Emma, because you're younger. Just because people look good together, that doesn't mean that they're happy together. And love typically does not last forever. It can. You can meet your match. And, and it, you know, it lasts as long as you want to work on it. But... um you don't know the reality of most Hollywood celebs' personal lives. Also, people can go into a relationship and fulfill each other's needs for the first couple of years, and then it doesn't work. Or it works provided they don't have kids, and then they get fucked because they have kids. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it other than they just did not love each other enough, or one of them didn't love the other enough, and they decided to split. The end, whatever. Fuck get, Fuck everything. Move once upon a time. Fuck you, the end. That's what I don't know. I feel, I feel like breakups in Hollywood are kind of like... Um, you expect them to happen. They don't. Relationships in Hollywood very rarely tend to last. Why? Why do you think that is? Just the environment, the and the amount of like fame and the amount of shit going on. Like you can't like when you have when you have like all these people who know who you are and whatever. You can't really maintain. I mean, you could maintain, but it's a lot harder because there's a lot more stress. So you can't really maintain a relationship because of the stress. You think? They're under, well, they're, I mean, I don't know. Some people can, but you see, you see these celebrities. They like, they go through like breakdowns and shit like that, and so that's kind of like a sign that they're not always in the best state to like. If you can't handle like life, yeah, then maybe relationship isn't. You know, I, I don't. What do I know? Well, you know enough. You, I mean, that's pretty valid. So you're you're citing stress. I mean, that's not an unreasonable thing to cite. I just think that above above and beyond that, it's that if you don't value your partner enough, and if you don't feel like you need a partner, then you're not going to be very a very good partner long term. And if you are craving st constant stimulation and new people, if you try to keep adding new people to the mix, you're going to muck up what you got. So. Anyhow, moving on, because the dudes here don't give a fuck about Channing Tatum, but we did answer your question, Jenna. Um, I heard uh, Nemo's mental, mentally taken for Tom Cruise. Well, you better be mentally taken for Scientology if you're mentally taken yeah, for Tom, Tom Cruise. Yeah, Tom Cruise is mentally taken for uh, yeah, Scientology is what I was going to say. Yeah, I was going to say, like, if you've been watching Mom and Son try long enough, then you, you'll know that I am not her brother. No, no way. So Andres says, I think most breakups are due to both parties wanting to be in charge. Oh, that's a that's a nasty statement. Also, Laquan, I, I saw before your birthday is coming up, so happy early birthday. Happy. And uh, Easter Day was like any other day. It, we're not we're not religious. I mean, there was the Easter Bunny did come around. I guess so he, he put down some. Rather cheap chocolate, if I do say so myself. Yeah, it wasn't cheap. There was lint chocolate. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm just messing. It wasn't cheap. I'm just messing with You're you. You're being me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Laquan. Happy birthday to you. Yes. Um. So, about what Andrea said, you think that breakups are about both parties wanting to be in charge. That means that you believe that one partner needs to determine the rules and conditions of the relationship. That's... Uh, we're simplifying things and ugh. Ugh. I mean it, it, it really I guess it depends on the person I yes yeah. I don't know some people might want to take in charge in the relationship but in a relationship you shouldn't take charge there's no real role to take charge in it it's both of you have to be in charge you know or both of you both of you have to like you know make compromises and come to an agreement yeah, exactly. And and I think that most relationships split up due to incompatibility and a lack of a shared vision for the future. 
It's but both people should lead. <coughs> both people should lead and support each other because it's not like a one person does this, the other person does that. You do both. I mean, you know. Listen to my son. He's right. But I think Andreas, you're just saying what you need. You want to be the one who guides, and your wife supports you. That's great. I'm glad that works for you. That might not be the power dynamic that everybody wants. Um, we don't. Uh, who's got their balls and whose purse? Says Danny. <laughs> Leave it to Danny to say something like that. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on a second. H uh, hello again, drama whore. Again, thank you, Mole Man, for the tip for Max. Oh, you're single. I didn't know you were single. That's why you're single, Andreas. Mm -hmm. No comment. You ever wonder why you're single, Andres? You want to wear the pants. Mm. Well, the truth is, none of us are wearing pants. Yep, that's one. At, at least, at least you're <laughs> humble enough to admit it. <laughs> why are you single, Andres? Well, he just he said that's why. I don't know. No, no. I, well, yeah, I was thinking he said what, that's why, but let's see if he divulges anything else. Sorry guys, I really do look rough tonight. I hate it. Is my double chin sticking out too much? Single and in charge. Yeah. Oh, single and in charge. Good for you. Well, at least your life's on track. <laughs> yeah, That's it's, true. It's, That's it's, true. It's, it's I know. I, I, like, I, I have my my compulsion is to mock. I will not mock. If you, if you if you if you figured out what you're doing, then keep doing it. If it's working for you, as long as it's not harming others, then do that. Yeah, if you're happy, then keep 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 do you keep doing you, boo boo. And if you're not happy and you want to get in a relationship, then you have to make compromises. But there are yeah. a lot. I mean, that, that that's like any relationship. Um, it's very rare that what you want is what the other person wants. Like always, like you always have to be making like, compromises. And, and, and it's not like you're the only one who has to make compromises. Your partner has to make compromises, too. You compromise for each other until you find a workable agreement. Uh, um, so how did you, how did you come to, to um, th these conclusions about compromise, Max? Who taught you that? Or are you just because you were, you were in a relationship, I guess? Or is it Jonathan? Or? It's the Internet. People talking about it. Picked up on stuff. And, yeah, I don't know. This is, this is what happens. This is the kind of person you get when you get unrestricted internet access. <laughs> you develop healthy emotional attitudes towards <laughs> relationships. I did the right thing. No, he had a girlfriend, but it didn't work out. That's okay. I, I can relate to that. I didn't have a girlfriend, no. Um, no, I did not have a girlfriend. I know. <laughs> I'm, I, I am proof. You're proof that I didn't have a girlfriend. Yeah. Okay, guys. It's been fun. Uh, this is not going to be a super long broadcast because Max has school tomorrow and I am uh, sick and I look sick and I need to stop working. But thank you for the $2. Thank you for enjoying this Joe Louie review. If you like this series, please don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to say stay subscribed. We'll be back with more eating treats and chats pretty soon. Well, thank you. <coughs> I think I'm at the point where I'm about to feel much, much, much much worse. Actually, here, I'll take my temperature and then we'll go. Just a minute, just, just for shits and giggles. Anything to say? No. I don't know. I don't, uh, I, I'm not very good at uh, starting conversations, but I am good at adding to them. Mmm, yeah. You're disgusting. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Only only patrons get access to the rectal <laughs> thermometer. Oh, don't make me laugh when I've got the thermometer. I do not do a rectal thermometry on Patreon. <clears throat> Thank you, Laquan, for your prayers. Thank you, Mo Man. Bye! Bye-bye. Bye, Danny.